Connect the dots to perfection from our Wall Street selection. But watch out for misdirection. It's time to get the picture. And now, here's the host of Get the Picture, a guy too busy to introduce himself, so he's going to make me do it, my buddy, Mike. Picture of the game show where an eye for detail can make you a winner. Let's get started by meeting our players. On the orange team, we have Tish and Ryan. Welcome. <laughs> Tish, you're on a softball team. Mm -hmm. And what's the name of the softball team? They're, I've been on three different teams. Oh, okay. Well, uh, what position do you usually play? Shortstop. Shortstop. Mm -hmm. What's your key to success? Just trying to stop the ball from getting out of the field. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing your body in front of a ball. All right, and Ryan, you're from Michigan. Yeah. And um, now you, you work part-time at a, at a batting cage? Is yeah, it's an indoor batting facility. That's no problem. Now, yeah, do you did, basketball. Uh-huh. Does, does your brother, I mean, does your boss let you, you know, play baseball while you're working? Yeah. No, not while I'm working. Oh, huh. But you can play as much as you want afterwards, right? Yeah. All right. And on the yellow team, we have Cassidy and Jeff. Welcome. <laughs> Cassidy, uh, you are vice president of your class at school. Yes, sir. So what sort of duties do you have to... We haven't had any this year. <laughs> you don't have any this year? Well, all we did really was organize the float. That's about it so far. Organize the float. What was this float of? The float was um, Jungle Book. Jungle, Jungle Book. All right. And Jeff, you were in the school band. Yes. What instrument do you play? Trumpet. Trumpet. Do you yes. have any role models, like uh, famous trumpet players that you want? No? No. you have a special song, any special song that's your favorite? No. Okay. Let's hear it for our players today on Get the Picture. <laughs> Round one. Set to begin. Round one is called Connect the Dots. Here's how you play. There are a bunch of dots up on our video wall here. Those dots represent a picture. Your job is to figure out what picture they represent. I'll be asking questions. The team that buzzes in first gets $20, gets to connect the dots in a square of their choice, and a chance to guess the picture. Looks like we're ready to play. Let's put our, put our first puzzle up on the board. I'm having trouble speaking today. And your clue is it's an animal. And here's the first question. In London, they call it the underground. What do we call them in New York? Yes, orange team. A subway? That is correct. $20 puts you on the board. Pick a square. Number nine. Number nine, please. Okay, there's a little bit of detail for you. Now, if you guess the picture correctly, you get $50. If you guess it incorrectly, you lose 20 Would you like to take a guess? Uh, no. Okay. What's the hook in the ladder? Is it A, a basketball move, B, a fire truck, or C, a new dance craze? Yellow team. B, fire truck. You got it. $20 puts you on the board. Pick a square. Number 12. Number 12, please. Would you like to take a guess? No. Okay. Name the star of the MacGyver TV show. Oh. Yellow team. I oh, got it. You don't know. Okay. Orange team. Star of MacGyver TV show. Oh, my God. Richard Dean Anderson is his name. Next question. Mean, median, and mode are three types of A, mathematical averages. Yellow team. Mathematical averages. Correct. Mathematical averages. You didn't even give me time to list the other choices. Gives you $40. Pick a square. Six. Six, please. And would you like to take a guess? No. Nope. Next question. What brand of jeans has a question mark in its logo? Orange team. Guess jeans. That is correct. Put you at $40. Pick a square. Number seven. Seven, please. Mm-hmm. It's an animal. Any guesses? No. Okay. Original Toll House cookies contain what type of chips? Orange team. Nestle Toll House. Judges? That's correct. Chocolate chips. Puts you at $60. Pick a square. Number 11. Number 11, please. Yeah. Do you see anything? You see something. Do you have a guess as what behind it? No. Okay, next question. Name the cartoon created by Jim Davis about a cat. Yes. Garfield. Garfield. Garfield is correct. $80. Pick a square. Oh, number, number three, please. Number three, please. 
Remember, it is an animal. Mm-hmm. No. Okay, next question. Name the inaccurate but more common term for the polygraph machine. Orange team. Um, I don't know. Yellow team, the inaccurate but more common name for the polygraph machine. Lie detector That test. is correct, yellow team. Puts you at $60. Pick a square. 16. 16, please. It's a tough one. No. On to the next question. Is. Based on a random sample of Nickelodeon viewers, it has been determined that the median height of Get the Picture viewers is approximately 4 feet 11 and 1 half inches, with the standard deviation of 4.5 inches. Now, knowing that at about 68% of the viewing population will fall within three standard deviations of the mean, and keeping in mind the parameters of a normal dis distribution in the population, how many years are there in a decade? Yellow team. Um, 100. That's incorrect. I am not going to reread the whole question, but I'll reread the end. How many years are there in a decade? 50 years. Sorry, that's incorrect. There are 10 years in a decade. Oh, oh my God. I can't believe I didn't. How did More questions. Name the supermodel who's the host of MTV's House of Style. Yes, Orange Team. Adam Curry. <laughs> no, no. And he is a supermodel, that guy, Adam Curry. He's got the hair to be one. Anyways, uh, yellow team, name the supermodel who's the host of MTV's House of Style. Cindy Crawford. You got it. $20. <laughs> What's you at 80? Yeah, wild guess. They get it. Pick a square. Eight. Wild Eight. but accurate guess. Eight, please. And is there a guess? It is an animal. No. Okay. What kind of plant appears on the Canadian flag? Yes. Maple leaf? That is correct. A red maple leaf. Four. Four, please. Okay. Grasshopper? Is it a grasshopper? All right, it's incorrect. You lose $20 for that. Ties the score back up at 80. We'll go on to the next question. What's missing from a cappella music? Yes, yellow team. The music. You the instruments. It. Yeah. Instr instrumental accompaniment. Twenty dollars. Put you at a hundred. Pick another square. Ten. Ten, please. Power surge! There you go. Alright, here's a chance for you guys to get an additional twenty dollars and also an extra clue as to what the picture is. This is called Rebus Mania. Now, Rebus is uh, a group of pictures or symbols that, when put together, sound like a familiar word or phrase. We have one Rebus that we want you to solve in 30 seconds. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. On your mark, get set, go! Chalk, erase, uh oh. Uh -oh. What do you see highlighted up there? You gotta think uh -oh. about that. Uh -oh. Sound it out. Sound the first word on the guan. Chaco, tari, slip, sleep, uh. Hip shaft keys. Hip. Oh. Computer. Found it out. Keys. Flip that. I'm Chuck. really helping you here, aren't I? Here. Oh. Uh. Okay. It was chocolate cookies. Oh. Chocolate chip cookies, I should have said. Ch see it? Oh, hip. Yeah. Late, <laughs> tardy slip, chocolate. Okay, since you guys were unsuccessful, we put the $20 on the orange team score, which ties up the score at $100. We're going to reveal an actual portion of the picture in that square. And orange team, you will have an opportunity to guess the picture if you want to. Remember, it is worth $50. Let's reveal an actual portion of the picture in that square now. It is an animal worth $50. We know it's not a grasshopper. On to the next question. Which of these is a mathematical? Whoa! All right, that buzzer means time is running out in round one. So what we're going to do, we're going to reveal this one square at a time until one team buzzes in with the correct answer. You could buzz in after I say, let's reveal these squares, okay? And in this sudden death period, you do not lose anything if you guess incorrectly. So, let's reveal those squares. Yes, orange team. Could it be an alligator? Is it an alligator? Incorrect. Yes. Okay, I'm 
sorry. Is it a hippopotamus? It is a hippopotamus! Put your score at $150. It puts your team in the lead. 150 for the yellow, 100 for the orange. We got a game going here. And we got another round coming up. Now I gotta check out this camera. Hi, Barbara, can I? What? I don't, I don't know how to run this. What? I, I don't know how to run this camera. I, I don't know how to run the camera. Barbara! Come back! I don't know how to run the camera! the picture. Round two set to begin. Let's recap the scoring. Orange team with $100 right behind the yellow team with $150. Plenty more to play. We'll be playing a game called Dots in round two. Here's how you play. We got a picture up on the board. I'll be asking questions that will require two, three, or four answers. Each group of responses is worth $40 plus as many lines as there are answers plus a chance to guess the hidden picture. There's one power surge square up there this time and don't forget if you can't supply all the answers for a question the other team can buzz in Get your money. Steal. All right. Looks like our first puzzle is in place. The clue is it's an animal. Here's the first question. Remember that Ernest guy from TV? We'll see if you can name two of his movies. And yes, Orange Team. Ernest goes to camp. Ernest goes to jail. Ernest goes to jail. That is correct. Now, I'm going to give you another line if you can give a good impression of him. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what do you mean, Vern? Vern? <laughs> no? All right. <laughs> Judges? Yeah. Right. Hey, Vern! Vern! Three lines. What are they going to be? All right. Seven to eight. Eight to thirteen. Seven to twelve. Okay, one more line makes square. Name the three primary colors. Yellow team. Yellow, red, and blue. That is correct. Forty more dollars. Put you at 190. Three lines. 12 to 13. Okay. 8 to 9. Okay. And 13 to 14. Okay, let's reveal an actual portion of the puzzle in that square. It is, a f it is an animal. I almost said it was a food. It's an animal. Would you like to take a guess? Now, if you guess right this time, it's worth $75. You guess incorrectly, you lose only 20. Would you like to take a guess? No. All right, next question. What do the letters TCBY stand for? Yes, yellow team. Oh, I don't know. I was thinking it was a yogurt place. Never mind. It, get, yes. What is it? You got time. Um, it's a yogurt. Go ahead. Well, yogurt. What does it stand for? Um. Okay, orange team. The country's best yogurt. You got it. <laughs> Come on, you got to be confident with your guesses. <laughs> we asked some weird questions on this show. You got to take that into account. Okay, uh, four lines, orange team. Nine to 14. 13 to 18, uh, 14 to 19. One more. And 18 to 19. Two squares, let's reveal them. One's a power surge. Okay, this power surge is called toss across. What you gotta do, you take these computer chips here that we had left over when building the set and, uh, <laughs> and uh, toss them here. You wanna reveal the numbers right here and not the punctuation marks. For each number that you reveal, we'll let you see a portion of the picture on a brand new picture on a three by three grid right here. At the end of 30 seconds, you take a guess. Are you ready? Okay, 30 seconds on the clock. Go! All right! Yeah! Get them up there, get some more in your hands! <laughs> Lob them up in the air! Take a look at what we got here. We got a one in number five, in number eight, and a number nine. Let's reveal those squares, please. Okay, take a guess. It's worth 40 bucks, so I'll get out of your way. Uh, Michael Jackson. Is it Michael Jackson? Sorry, it's incorrect. It's Steven Tyler of Aerosmith. Aerosmith. So, since you're unsuccessful, 
careful with that. We give the $40 to the yellow team. We're going to reveal an actual portion of the picture in those two squares right now. Let's do it. Nope, other square. The, that square down there, you want to see the uh, 13, 14, 18, and 19 squares. There you go. Okay, now, you guys get to uh, take a guess as to what it is, if you like. It's an animal. No. no. Yellow team, it's your turn to guess. No. No, okay. A big brawny guy with an accent and a scrawny little guy with an attitude starred in Twins. Name the two actors. Orange team. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. You're correct. Forty more dollars. Put your score at 220. Okay, two lines. 12 to 17. Yep. And 17 to 18, please. Great. Let's reveal those, that square right now. 12 to 17 and 17 to 18. Okay. Would you like to take a guess? Not a clue. Ne not a clue. Next question. Name two major C's of the world with a color in their name. Yes. Orange team. Two major C's of the world with a color in their names. The red C. That's one. Come on, I need your other the answer. black C. That is correct. Yes. Forty more dollars. Put your score at 260. You take the lead. Two lines. Uh, 14 to 15. Let's see it. Um... One more. 15 to 20. Okay, next question. All right, I admit it. Bo knows sports. The question is, do you know two different ways of spelling Bo? Yes, y'all team. B-O yep. and B-O-E. B-O-W. Uh, I'm sorry, B-O-E judges, is that a? Sorry, we have B-O, I need a one other way of spelling Bo. B-O-W. Correct. Yes. And B-A-B-E-A-U is the other one. Two lines. Um, can we have 19, or no, yeah. 15 to 10. 15 to 10. 9 to 10. Okay. Let's reveal that square. And do you have a guess? What? No. Okay. Name three movies starring John Cusack. I don't know. Do you know who John Cusack is? Not a clue. Not a clue. Okay. Say anything, Eight Men Out, The Grifters, Sixteen Candles. I'll keep on going, but I get it. <laughs> Close your eyes and name four of the five senses. Orange team. Um, Close your eyes. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right. <laughs> All right. The sight. Yep. Hearing. Mm-hmm. Um, feel. Yep. And uh, sound. Mouth. Your mouth. Talk. Sight, hearing, feel, and then sound. Your mouth. Mouth, you know. You know <laughs> your mouth. Be more specific talking, on mouth. Talking, sound. Sorry, that's incorrect. I need one hearing. other. Hearing. They already said hearing. I need. I need. I have sight, hearing, and feeling. I need one other one. Smell. That is correct. <laughs> sight, hearing, taste, feel, and smell. Okay. Okay. Four lines. <clears throat> Put your score to two hundred seventy dollars. Nineteen to twenty. Mm -hmm. Um. Eighteen to. Eighteen to um. Oh, I guess, we, I guess we knocked off that number when they threw the computer 18 to, um, 18 to 23, 23 if you 23. want. Okay. And 17 to 22. Okay. Was that three, or did you pick four? And I think I picked four. Oh. Yeah, you got one more. 22 to 23. All right, let's reveal that square. Let's reveal the one down there. Okay, it's an animal. Worth, worth $75. A guess? Next question. Name the two persons known as the dynamic duo. Yellow team. Batman and Robin. That is correct. Puts you in the lead with 310. Two lines. 19 to 24 and 23 to 24. Okay. Let's reveal it. Do you have a guess? It is an animal. No. Okay. All right, that buzzer means time is running out, so this is very important. We have a score of 300 for the orange team, 310 for the yellow team. The team that buzzes in with the correct answer is going on to the bonus round. This is worth $75. Now remember, you do not get penalized for guessing incorrectly. You can start buzzing in after I say let's reveal these squares, and if this puzzle is not solved, then the winner will be the yellow team. Let's reveal those squares. Yes, yellow team. Are they crabs? Yes! It is crabs. Brings your score to 385. 
Orange team of 300, we got that for you to split. We got some great prizes today. The winners are the yellow team of 385. Orange team, we got some great prizes. Henry J, talk to me. For our departing team, you'll each get British Knights Athletic Footwear, BKs, the latest, greatest, baddest, most awesome sneakers around. BKs, British Knights, and look out, it's our type now for your Game Boy with all the eye-popping, action-packed excitement of the arcade version from IREM. And now, here's Mike. We're going to the bonus round. Stick around. These guys play a mega memory. They're making it happen on Get the Picture today. We'll be back in a flash. Picture, we are here in the bonus round with a yellow team with the score of $385 has advanced to Mega Memory. It's called Mega Memory. Here's how you play. We'll give you 10 seconds to look at nine pictures up on the board, then we'll cover them up. As I read off a clue for each picture, you need to hit the corresponding button on the Mega Memory keypad. The first six sets you get worth $100 a piece. After that, you're playing for this, Henry J. Mike, today's grand prize package includes the singing machine, the portable home entertainment system that makes you the entertainment. Perform and record your favorite hits with complete musical accompaniment by the singing machine cassette arrangements. Plus, from East Pack, the leader of the pack, bags for school, play, and travel. East Pack bags are stylish, tough, and built to last. Yours from East Pack. Get all nine matches and you and a friend will spend a week training just like real astronauts at the U.S. U.S. Space Camp in Alabama or Florida. Space Camp, it's really out of this world. Good luck, Yellow Team. And now here's our very own resident rocket scientist, Mike. <laughs> Thank you, Henry J. All right, the theme of today's mega memory is sports. We've got 10 seconds for you to look at these pictures. Show them the pictures, guys. Okay, we have 45 seconds on the clock. I want you guys to yell out loud, help each other out. You can get up on that pad if you want. This is no time to be tentative, okay? Good luck. The clock will start after I read off the first clue. Hold on tight as these wings carry you away. Go. Seven, hang glide, right. Running that's good for your heart. Three, joggers, right. 18 holes of driving and putting. Five, golf, right. Batter up and here's the pitch. One, baseball, right. Take turns, guards, forward. Shooping hoops. Guards for it. Six is incorrect. Strap on your blades and hit the ice. Go five. Five is incorrect. You already got that. Shoot the puck well and you can win this game. Eight. Eight is incorrect. Track event with running and jumping. Hurdle right. Nine. Light on a field with blocking and tackling. Six. Football right. Guards forwards in a center shooting hoops. Guards forwards in a center shooting hoops. Four. Four. That's right. Strap on your blades and hit the ice. Two is incorrect. Shoot the puck and you can win. You did get eight. Henry J, tell us what we won. You'll each take home $600 in cash, plus the singing machine and the East Pack Bag Collection, a prize package worth $1,022. Not a bad day's work, huh? We'll see you next time. Get the picture. Bye-bye. picture was taped before a live audience in Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida.